Ace, what's moral courage, Ace? Being able to tell the people that you love when they're doing wrong. Mm hmm. Tell them the truth, even if it hurts. Mm hmm. Maryland's new head coach, Mike Loxley, he knows this program very well. He was part of it for 10 seasons in the past. And Chuck, we can tell, nurturing this family means everything to him right now. Well, Coach Loxley is back home. He grew up in the area. He's recruited here his entire coaching career. And I feel that the time he spent as an interim head coach here at Maryland and the time he spent with Nick Saban in Alabama has truly prepared him to be the head coach here at Maryland. Anyone that knows me knows the the passion and feeling I have for Maryland football. From being a kid rooting for, for Maryland football to being a young assistant, uh, having been a part of building an ACC championship team here in the late 90s, early 2000s, and to coming back uh, to lead it as the, the head coach. So for me, it was a, a dream come true. I can't tell you guys enough how this is a dream come true for me. Yeah, you know, if you just look at results, it, it'll be hard for you to tell that, that there were some successes, you know, within that 3-9 and nine record. Really, things went south from the beginning. That's got to be frustrating because you're Maryland, you're starting to add up all the mistakes from the first half. You know, it, it's really none of our business or what others outside the program think. It's really about what we believe in. You know, we can't spend our time trying to prove people wrong. We've got to prove ourselves right. Who is it about? Us. And it's never going to be about them. It's going to be about us doing our job for 60 minutes. You know, it's very unfortunate, but, uh, you know, going through what we went through was definitely a necessary thing for us to go through because you learn so much about your processes. Just with some of the failures and some of the lack of success you have, it really makes you take a deep, hard look at every part of the program. Hours after uh, our season ending loss to Michigan State, in which a game that we was as close to a game that I've seen us play uh, with the pride and energy that, that, that I had come to know this team to be about, uh, I met with every player on the team. You know what moral courage is? Moral courage is being able to tell somebody you love or care about, real, real love and real care, the truth, even if it hurts. And did you hear what Keandre said at the end of the Michigan State game? Yeah. That was moral courage. And now I hope that you guys have set the stage for us to get this thing to go in the right direction. All right, everybody, everybody, please. One second, coach. Here we go. I just got, I just got something on my mind to say why, why, I'm, why I'm emotional right now, but it was a pleasure playing for y'all boys, man. For us to be successful, we have to be player driven. Meaning the players have to be the police. They've got to manage themselves from inside out. Those meetings were, were really necessary to find out their thoughts of the program, the things they liked, the things they didn't like, the things that I could do better as the leader of this football family. What do you think I need to do or can do better to maybe get that fight back? Accountability runs horizontal in our program and each of us are accountable for the results and, and for our actions and I thought it was really, really important to find out from our players, the guys that were right there with us, uh, what their thoughts were. And this evaluation is a two-way evaluation. It's mm -hmm. like real man conversation right. that you learn to have in your real life when you leave here and graduate. Right. What things could I do better to maybe help prevent this moving forward as we start the 2020 year? What things do you need out of Coach Locks? I think one thing that you've alluded to a lot of trust. It took a long time to build and still building. As you go through these meetings and you, you formulate common themes that show up, and, and, and to me, not a big surprise, but it, it starts with trust. With any relationship, for it to be successful, uh, you have to have trust. And you know, one of the things that really has created this uh, trust issue amongst our football family is you have to think, again, three head coaches in five years. Some guys have had five position coaches in four years. Those things take time. And as much as we'd like to just rush the process, uh, I think trust comes with the belief and buy-in. So trusting how we do things and why we do things and that they work. Yeah, and trusting that the coaches and my administration have our back too. You know, I think the longer we're here as a staff, uh, 
the, the more trust and the bond and the buy-in comes along with it. Um, I think obviously culture is really important. You know what I'm saying? I hate to go out like that, but I, each, I love each and every one of y'all, the staff, the coaches, because you know, we don't get these opportunities. That's been the missing piece to our team. Having enough guys that have the moral courage to tell their teammates the truth. Because when it comes from a coach, I always say this, coach-driven things are just good. Player-driven are great. So when it comes from a coach, it's blaming, it's uh, critiquing, it's criticizing, it's not always positively accepted, especially if there's a lot of, a lot of trust, as you like to say. Yeah. And so when it comes from a teammate, it usually means a little bit more because that's not an easy conversation to have. We ain't do nothing different. We just believe. Y'all gotta believe in this man. Yeah, it's gonna be ups and downs. Yeah, it's gonna be a hate love relationship. But f all the noise, man. Like my, 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 my senior year is over. I want you underclassmen to understand, man. It's slim opportunities like that, man. Y'all know what we could have done if y'all just believed all season? Y'all let that in the line. That's why I can't even be disappointed. I don't want to leave. I want to see this program turn around. I want to be a part of that too. But y'all underclassmen, y'all got to understand that and see, look, this is the last opportunity. I'm going to say it while I'm here. I'm not going to let y'all know where I'm going, man. I'm going to let y'all, look, I'm going to say it right now in front of everybody. I love each and every one of you from the staff. Everybody accepting me in, you know? We're going to change this around. I, I, I truly believe that, man. Y'all just got to believe. That's all it took was believing. To even fight, go out there and fight like that, man. Bring that shit in, man. We're a family regardless. And say the shit when you mean it. Family on three. One, two, three. That's why for me, uh, though year one uh, was not what any of us wanted or expected, it was necessary. But I'm also really confident having gone through this, we're on the right track. And it's all about building upon the foundation and the standards and the processes for how we want to make this program great.